Hey, Tom. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so how's the MLG for you right now? So, I mean, it's, it's not really your thing. It's StarCraft. It's all the PC gaming. You're a big Halo gamer, basically. So what's your input on it? It's still MLG. It's, you know, the, yeah, even though there's no Halo and MLG was kind of built off Halo and they were originally the premier console league, it's great to see it expand this big and for there to be this many screens and projectors and to have such a live audience is just insane. And as you can see from all the sponsors and booths, it's just getting bigger and bigger, which eventually is going to be better for all of us. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, StarCraft is not really, until now, it's not really that, you know, an American sport. You know, it's mostly the Koreans, the Far East. Um, do you think like this is going to push more Americans to get into, more or Americans, Europeans to get into uh, StarCraft? Yeah, I think that what needs to happen next for esports is it needs to go global. It needs to hit places like Brazil, it needs to hit England, it needs to hit, you know, Korea. Middle East. Yes, it needs to hit the Middle East. It has to go everywhere. And once everybody starts falling in love with the community and we all work together, then we're going to see something that we've never seen before. We're all gamers in the end, Exactly. Right? It doesn't we're... matter what the flag is. Exactly. And that's what's so cool about it. And, and it brings us all together and we can all play through the internet. Even though it's laggy, yeah, when you go to these tournaments and you get together, Nothing's better. It's such a social thing. There's no lag. There's nothing. It's all smooth. Right. Um, so, uh, but how's your career going right now? Are you st you still going all pro? Still with still mainly focused on Halo? Or are you trying to experiment maybe something new? So I'm fa I'm focused on Halo right now. E3 just happened a couple days ago, so it was great for console shooters. We saw uh, what we see. We saw Gears of War. We saw Call of Duty, we saw Halo, we saw Medal a ton of Honor. Yeah, Medal of Honor, the new Battlefield stuff that's coming out. So it's going to be pretty sick. And what I've been doing is I've been kind of hitting up all these other games, all these other console games, because what my hope is to bring all these people together, and then eventually there's going to be that one premier game, just how Halo was. And I'm hoping yeah. that it's Halo 4. But besides that, I've been working with GameSpot as well. I'm their esports ambassador. I've been working with Mrs. Violence on that and Slasher as well. So we're covering all the events for them. MLG has that CBSR relationship, so we're trying to further that and do some big things for uh, for esports. Yeah, true. Um, so what's your take on Halo 4? I mean, you, most probably you got a bit of behind the scene. I know I did, but what's your take on it? I think Halo 4 is awesome. I think they took a little bit from Call of Duty, but yet they went back to those old Halo roots. Old Spartan Ops. Yes, the Spartan Ops is great. The loadouts are amazing. Everything about Halo 4 screams esports and screams competitive play. And I had a chance to talk with Dave Ellis from 343 Industries, and all these people are just so dedicated to bounce back from what Halo Reach was because the sales just weren't that great, the longevity of the game wasn't that great, so hopefully Halo 4 is that premier console shooting title that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, pretty much. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank you so much. And All thanks, good. Thanks to everybody in the Middle East. And, uh, you know, if you, if you have a chance and you like this interview and you, you know, like what I'm about, follow me on Twitter, T-Squared MLG. All good. All good. Thanks. Hey, thank you.